great week. We have your Thursday workout today for Wildfire CrossFit. Here's your warm up. We're going to get right into it. You're going to do a six minute AMRAP of five different movements. Okay. You've got five jumping squats. Get down, up, get that good movement going. Take your time going down slow. Stretch out that squat and then come really powerful out of the bottom of that to get that jump. Then you're going to do five tuck jumps. Work on getting those knees up as high as you can for five. Then five inchworm walkouts. So go down, touch your toes, walk your hands all the way out to the top of the push-up position and walk all the way back. Your goal is to keep those legs nice and straight as you do that. If you need to, you can go wider with your stance in order to make that happen. Walk out, walk back, get a good glute hamstring stretch. Then we're gonna do 10 good mornings. Feet are right underneath your hips. Chest up, just hinge at your hips. Hands can be relaxed. Just pull your shoulders away from your ears as you tip over and stretch those hamstrings again too. Then 10 active pigeons. So you're in this plank position. Get that opposite foot to your hand. Sink those hips down on the ground and switch. Back and forth, opening up those hips, okay? Then you're gonna go back to those jumping squats for six minutes, get as many rounds as in, in as you can. Again, it's your warm up. pace it, get stretched out, get loose. It's gonna be a good one today. All right, for the to, uh, strength today, we're gonna do Tabata intervals, but we're just gonna do two Tabata intervals at this exercise, move on to the next, and then we're gonna do that twice. So uh, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four different exercises, all working on your core. You're going to do Tabata ab mat sit-ups, okay? Ab mats underneath your butt, butterfly those feet, lay all the way back, come up, touch your toes, get that tall chest in the middle. Use your speed on this one. See how many you can get in that 20 seconds. Rest for 10, and then goal is to beat your score on that next one for that 20 seconds. Then you're going to do Tabata plank hold. So forearms and toes, okay? Shoulders right over your elbows, wrists, your hips right in line with those shoulders, not sagging, not getting all the way up, okay? Hold for 20 seconds there. Then you're gonna go to bot a lemon squeezer, okay? From here, legs up, you're gonna come up, touch your ankles, come out into the hollow position, back into your ankles. If you wanna make it more explosive, Come all the way up on that tailbone. If you want to keep it with that back in the ground, you can do that as well. Again, as many times as you can, 20 seconds, rest for 10, do it again. Then we've got side plank rotation, okay? So you're in that plank and you're going side, back down, other side, back down. Two rounds for each, and we're gonna repeat that again one more time, starting back at those ab mat sit-ups. Okay, that's your strength today. Have fun with it. It's gonna be a good core one, and then we'll get into an awesome workout. All right, for your workout today, we are gonna do a Hero Wad Morrison, okay? This is hefty numbers at the beginning, but the good news is it gets lower and lower as you keep going. So we're gonna do 50 reps of all three movements, then 40, then 30, then 20, and 10. Your three movements, we have wall balls. You're gonna take that wall ball, find your target, okay? Chest up, full squat, hit that target, squat as that ball comes down. If you don't have a target, you can go ahead and just do either a ball toss in the air, if you have that med ball, or if you have an object, whether it be a dumbbell, kettlebell, or even a barbell, just do a med ball thruster or dumbbell thruster, kettlebell thruster, whatever you got, okay? Then you're gonna do box jumps. If you've got that box to jump on, you're gonna go here, jump up under that box, stand all the way up at the top, come right back down, land in that squat, full extension to the top. If you need to scale, step up, step back down. If you don't have a box to step on, you can use any kind of object and jump over that object or do a broad jump and just jump forward as much as you need to, okay, for those jumps. Last movement is gonna be your kettlebell swing. 
Again, this can be done with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Core is going to be nice and tight. You're here. Hinge and you're good morning. Get that hip going. We're going to go all the way. American swing. Straight up and down. Pop those hips. Drive your heels in the ground and get straight up and down at the top. Okay? Again, if you've got a dumbbell, you can do the same thing. If you need to scale and do more of a Russian swing straight out in front, that's an option. If you don't have any objects to do the swing with, go ahead and get down on the ground and you are glute bridging today. Push those hips all the way to the ceiling and back down. Hang out there at the top for a half a second just so you get the full range of motion of that movement. Again, a lot of reps, chip away at this. It's a hero workout for a reason. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. We know you can do it, and we're excited to have you do it on this Thursday. Have a great day, we'll see you tomorrow.